with me when I walk too far. Even when I face the giant in the darkness with the light. Tell the devil that he's a liar. And even when I'm in the waiting, in all of my broken places, can be faithful, I ain't faithful. And I will not be afraid. I'll be okay. How's it going, man? Alright, we're here to... Uh, GSP. Alright. Get you in the Maryland ones, don't you? Yes, sir. Yeah. Where you flying to? Uh, Portland. Portland? Yeah. What's up, Sasquatch? I am currently at the airport. It is 5.06 in the morning. Um, I'm headed to Portland, Oregon, to go see my baby. Y'all, really quick, I need to vent really quick. I almost missed my flight this morning because of Uber. Now, I'm not coming for the Uber company or anything, but I am coming for the lady who canceled my ride just because she didn't know how to get to my place. I want to preach to her, too, because she quit. She couldn't find my place because she said it was confusing. She called me and said, I'm looking for your place. Can you come outside? I came outside. She wasn't there. So, and then I see on Uber, I see on the app it says, um, Gloria has canceled your ride. Gloria, you quit in life and you need to not quit in life. Quitting in life is not right and you should have found it. You should have kept going until you found me. When I got my next guy, I had to wait 12 minutes for him. Now you lucky that my man was speeding because now I board in like 10 minutes. You lucky that my man was speeding because if he wasn't speeding, Gloria, I would have found you and we would have had some we, we would have I don't know what would happen but something would happen I just wanted to tell you all that before we start this vlog because Gloria really Gloria really got me if Gloria if you're watching this just know you need to not quit in life and you need to continue until you find your ride but what is up Sasha squad we are back with another video and today I am going to be reunited with my baby girl again um, for people who are new to this channel, um, I just moved to Greenville, South Carolina a few months ago. My baby girl lives in Los Angeles, California, and we've been doing a long distance relationship. It has been one of the hardest things in the world because uh, I love that girl so much and we have been dating for over a year now and um, it's getting real. It's time to, you know, take some steps. It's been, it's just, it's just been really tough and it's been really hard on our relationship but we're getting through it we're growing we're learning so much about each other right now i'm going to portland that's where she is she's with her family hanging out you guys know that sass from portland i'm going to portland just to hang out with her and her family y'all this flight that i'm about to get on is a five hour and 19 minute flight ask me am i ready for this absolutely not all right squad so that's happening if you guys are ready for this vlog we back with the vlogs baby smash that like button actually don't smash it don't break it just tap it because i want you to like other videos so just tap the like button if you're new to this channel subscribe to the sash squad the dopest squad on the internet if you guys do that i promise you this vlog will be somewhat lit like it'll probably be one of your favorite vlogs ever if you like it i promise you i promise you Beautiful girl. Mm. I was saying, did you go over there? Over where? Oh. <laughs> I'm tired. 
tired. Yeah, babe, take a nap, go. Five hours and 19 minutes? That's how long it was? Yes. Were you bored? I didn't get up. Are you okay? No, my knees started to buckle when I stood up. <laughs> I didn't stand up not once. Did there was an annoying little boy who was next to me the whole time. I didn't know if he was crying or laughing. Uh -oh. That's how annoyed I was. Uh, and then, uh, babe, <laughs> there was maybe at least seven times where he had to go to the restroom, and I was sleep. And you had to get up. I, no, I didn't get up. I was sleep the whole flight. I was sleep the whole flight. Then and, you're not tired. But no, I, I'm, I'm exhausted. But I was sleep the entire flight, so uncomfortable. All I remember is waking up to him staring at me to get back in his row. <laughs> And then his mom was with them, but I guess she was scared to like tap me or something to wake me up. So like, I don't know how long they were staring at me before it was time for them to like, for them to get back in the row. So he was just staring at you. I wake up and he's just like timid. I'm like, little boy, tap me or something. <laughs> Babe, long distance is hard. I know, I'm sad, don't say that. It's not easy. It's like 10 times more work. Like I'm exhausted from a flight just because of the long distance. Because you had to come all the way across the country to see my baby. I'll do it a million times. You live so far, babe. I was literally thinking about that on the flight. I was like, it's I don't close. live close. It's there is no such thing as close. East coast, west coast. Total opposite sides. But what's crazy is if we never lived in LA together, like, you would have been a west coast boy. I mean, I would have been a west coast girl and you would have been east coast. Like, that's how, how it is. How would we have met? How would we have? What? I meet you. Some way, somehow, I visit LA. Oh, yeah. And we just run into each other on the street? Yes. Okay, perfect. That's how it would have happened. All right, so we have just got to um, the best breakfast burrito place in the world. I have to pee. Okay, let's go pee. It's called Don Chico's. It's in Portland, Oregon. Actually, what other, what city are we in? We're in Oregon City. Oregon City, Oregon. I have fell in love with these breakfast burritos, and if you live in Oregon or surrounding areas of Oregon City, and you don't know about Don Chico's. The free promo for Don Chico's. Yeah, we're giving you guys free promo, and y'all need to send us some money. Thanks, baby. You're welcome, mama. Guys, we got the burritos. You cannot see them, but smell it. <laughs> smell it really quick. <sighs> and OJ. You like my nails, babe? I love your nose. You guys, I got guys, my nails Guys, my baby done. doesn't like your nails. Why don't you like your nails? Because, you guys, girls know that when sometimes you get your nails done and you needed one more coat, like it's like kind of see through at the tips. Yeah, I just think they look nice. They Thank look you. like a nice Pepto Bismol pink. No. You guys. I'm so hungry. Dun, 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 dun. I'm so hungry. Why'd you stop? Because I was doing the dance moves for your singing. I know. Can you sing with me? Okay, dance? okay, fine. You're a superstar. Okay, here we go. One, two, ready, go. I'm so hungry. Dun, 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 dun. I'm so hungry. Dun, dun, dun. Hey, hey! I'm so hungry. Bop, bop, bop. I stop again. <laughs> I think we said it enough time. I wasn't done, though. I want candy. No, hungry. We're hungry. We're gonna eat the breakfast burrito. I want a burrito. Bop, 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 bop. I want a burrito. Too many syllables. No, it still works. We'll practice and we'll come back. Fine. Yo, really quick, Spot. I just wanted to uh, talk really quick just about, um, I don't know, I guess like the struggles of being in a long distance relationship and um, the stuff that Sav and I have gone through together. She's getting ready for the day, but maybe she'll come in here and talk about it. But um, it hasn't been easy at all. Hi, I literally just told them that you might come in soon, and you just came in. What are you doing? What's everyone them, doing? I was kind of telling them about long distance struggles. <gasps> Do you want to talk about it with me? Well, I don't know what we're going to talk about, but tell them kind of what, um, what's what been the toughest part with long distance for you personally. For me? Mm-hmm. I think the hardest, I'm so not comfortable. I think the hardest part is like, we get frustrated with each other, like over dumb things, or not even necessarily frustrated, we're just like, I think there, 
there's times where I don't know how to explain it, but it's just because we miss each other and we'll like pick at things. Yeah, I think just the hardest thing is getting frustrated, but only frustrated because we're upset that we miss each other and there's nothing. It's like feeling of helplessness. You just can't, mm -hmm. we can't see each other. And right. that's all we want is just to see, be able to like see each other and hug each other. And sometimes that's just not an option. So mm -hmm. I think that's probably the hardest part for me. Yeah, I, I battled the thought of what if I didn't leave? And what if I like stayed in LA? And what if I never like, you know, listened to God with like my calling and stuff like that? Like what if I just did what I wanted to do? Yeah. Did what, yeah, did what I actually wanted to do, which was stay in LA where I'm comfortable and be with Sav. But uh, I don't know, I battle with that a lot. And that's like tough because it's like, should I just go back and be with my baby and you know finish this or or just trust God and you know believe that he has something for us this mm -hmm. is all a part of a plan mm -hmm. and um it's gonna work out in the end so I don't know for me that's been like the toughest part about you know being in a long distance relationship on top of me missing her so much um and not being able to really do anything about it you know like she lives in LA and I live in South Carolina. You know, that's just that. So, but with that, we're gonna be trying, not trying, we will be seeing each other and flying out to each other. Um, maybe Bob the Builder over here. <laughs> I think one thing is, like on the practical side, is going out of our way, paying that flight, paying, doing whatever we have to do to see each other. I think that. Um, plays a huge part in it mm -hmm. like this is our life now and we have to act accordingly so if I have to pay for a flight if I have to you know travel very far to see my baby then I have to do it it's about us and um, that is what means a lot to us so that's what needs to happen so if you're in a long-distance relationship go out of your way to do certain things to see your significant other mm -hmm. it's not easy right. you, like it's I don't know who else who says it's easy to be in a long distance relationship you're lying <laughs> like you're lying you can't see your significant other and for us for, to go from living in the same state to not living in the same state at all seeing each other every single day and not seeing each other every single day it's so tough so um, going out of your way making the effort to see your significant other um that is a plus that a, a, plus, a plus a must a must, a must. <laughs> also that a plus. Is, it's plus too because it shows how much you care how much you're invested in this relationship mm -hmm. um and it has to be a 50 50 thing i can't just be the only one visiting and she can't be the only one visiting me um then something's kind of off you know mm -hmm. another not necessarily like solution but just something to make long distance easier for we've learned this like for ourselves but also for anyone that's going through it I think communication is number one. For us, we've always said from the beginning of our relationship, even when we were in the same state, that communication is like essential for a relationship to work, communication and trust. So it's all kind of hand in hand. And then when you're across the country from each other and you can't see each other, then communication becomes even more important Yeah. because we're so used to just seeing each other every day. And like, we don't really have to communicate over text or over the phone. And mm -hmm. it gets, it, it's crazy. You don't realize how hard that actually is. Right, it's tough because you have to go the extra mile kind of the same thing with like Visible. buying flights and yeah. stuff but just doing small things like texting each other randomly and like i don't know it's so much harder to make each other happy because we can't see each other you know and so i think just communication mm -hmm. is number one even if there's going to be like hours where we can't talk to each other or we're busy like we totally we understand that it's just saying like hey babe i have to go do this for a while like mm -hmm. i'll text you when i can and we're at like, first it's, it's tough though because you you in your head you understand it but out loud you like you don't really you don't want to understand it it's mm -hmm. like what do you mean i want to talk to you now let's talk now mm -hmm. and it's frustrating yeah. it's like it's we're not going to sit here and say um that it's not frustrating it's frustrating than a mug <laughs> i just said than a mug yeah, i just said did. that since i was like we're confused a child. <laughs> there's so much that we can say about this topic and if you are in a long distance relationship sav and i know exactly what you're going through even if it's like you live two hours away or something like not yeah. as dramatic as us long distance is long distance if you can't see your significant other every single day then we know trust us it's hard and you know we're with you we'll be praying for you like for us we literally have reminders on our phone <laughs> where we pray that's some advice right there yeah, where we good. have different reminders of praying for different 
areas in our life um so i'm just praying for our family praying for each other praying for our future praying like doing that having guidance with that and having god lead the way with that also i think too that if you are in a long distance relationship because we feel this so much is basically if you want it to work then it will work yeah that's like just the bottom line if you guys both are invested and you love each other and you know that you're meant to be together, then there's no question that it won't work. Yeah. You guys just both have to make sure you're putting in the same amount of effort and never feeling, if anyone ever feels like one-sided, like someone's trying harder, then it's not, it's not right. So Got I think, it. yeah, yeah you what go, gonna say? go, go. I think just literally, if you want it to work, it'll work. Yeah. Like that's just the bottom line. And it's yeah, not going to yeah. be easy, but as long as you're just like praying about it and just like knowing that God has a plan for you guys, because that's just what we believe. We know we're going to be together again. Like, there's no question about it. So I think it's just just staying strong, but also just knowing no matter how hard it gets, no matter if you're in an argument, whatever it is, just know, always remember that you guys both want that. For sure. And guys, when we say these stuff, like when we're trying to give you guys advice and stuff like that, this is just coming from experience. Like I said, we're not going to sit here and say we're perfect mm -hmm. when it comes to this long distance thing. That, what Sab just said, is something that I kind of struggled with in the beginning of us. And she had to like keep me in check with that. Um, if I wanted it, I just need to show it, period. Um, there is no such thing as, you know, wanting a break or, you know, let's figure this out or let's take our time. No, it's like, we want this. She wants this. She knows I want it. Mm -hmm. Um, so that's it. Period. That's it. There is no <laughs> if, ands, or buts about it. You figure it out. And, um, she had to set me straight with that. And, uh, yeah so yeah when we tell you guys this advice stuff this is just coming from personal experiences and that's just telling you guys stuff because it sounds good this right. is because we <laughs> real. we deal with it too um as well so if you are going through a long distance relationship currently and you just want to reach out to us you guys can dm us on instagram and we always do our best to reply to you guys all right so should we just close the video up Ooh. <laughs> and then when you see your significant other in person you get kisses yeah you get kisses all right, Sasha Squad, we hope you guys enjoyed this little short kind of vlog slash sit down video. If you want more of these type of videos, comment down below. We would love to start doing these type of advice videos or just personal experience videos, story times, whatever you guys want. Just comment down below and we got you. Before we go though, y'all know we do have to do a Sasha Squad shout out though. Baby girl, who does our shout out go to today? Our shout out today goes to Tori McNair. Hey, shout out to you, Tori. Thank you for rocking with the Sasha Squad. We rock with you. Cause you rock with that. Yo, if you want a shout out, all you gotta do is Hit us up on our IG, hit us up on our Twitter. Subscribe to the Sauce Squad, the dopest squad on, on the, the internet. internet, and we will shout you out. You wanna tell them the big news, babe? Yeah. Cause it's in your hometown, so you kinda wanna tell them. You're right. Go okay, I'm nervous. Okay, guys, so tomorrow, we tomorrow. are tomorrow. tomorrow. So like, tomorrow, clear your schedules, because we are doing a meetup in Portland, Oregon, my hometown. What? Just scream with me, babe. Oh. Come on, we always scream together. Next one, ready? Okay. One, two, three. Whoa! <laughs> yes, we are doing our second Sash Squad meetup in Portland, Oregon, my baby girl's hometown. A lot of you guys have said come to Portland because we want to meet you guys and hang out with you guys. We We're said. Here. Why not? Let's do it. Let's make it happen. So tomorrow at 1.30, it's going to be at Tom McCall Waterfront Park. Meet us there. We're going to be at a big fountain. Yes. We're going to do all the location details are going to be on our Instagram. So follow us on Instagram and you will see all that. It's happening at 1.30 tomorrow p.m. Downtown Portland is going yes. to be lit. All right, babe. I love you. Love you, baby. Love you, Sky Squad. Hopefully we see you in Portland tomorrow. Love you guys.